Welcome back guys to another day of Christine's Jamaican living. You know when you see me in my protective glasses, you know what the time of the day is, right? It means I'm gonna be in the backyard picking fruits or digging up produce. So I'm actually gonna do picking papaya and I'm gonna be digging up yam. And with the papaya, I'm gonna make a smoothie. And I may cook a little piece of my yam. But before I do that, guys, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Tap that notification bell to be notified as soon as I have more wonderful videos available. Guys, you know what to do by now. Go ahead and tap that button. And for all who have subscribed already, guys, welcome and thank you all. Yes, me gone in at the backyard. So guys, follow me, I am going to the backyard. Yes, guys, I am on the step ladder and I'm heading in this lovely papaya tree. I'm gonna pick some papaya today. I am so excited. You always get excited when you plant something, it bears, it produces, and you can actually pick it and eat it or cook it. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Gardening, I love to plant stuff and to reap stuff. Of course, my dad does the planting, but hey, I'm there alongside him, yay! So let's see if I could reach this papaya. Oh, looks like I can't reach it. All right, let's get a little bit closer. Ooh, look at this lovely papaya. Yes, guys, I am loving it. I am loving it, loving it. This one or this one? Oh, oh, this one just actually fell off in my hand. So it was ready. Oh, it has some bruise on it, but. Let's try the other one. This one, it's not bad not bad yeah yep but it yes guys so I may do I may just eat the papaya just like this or I may do a smoothie with my papaya ah. guys you see me with my machete you know what we're gonna do right now we're gonna dig a piece of yam for all you Jamaicans that know a yam, yes, we're going to dig yam from the backyard using my machete. So this is where the yam is. And you can see the yam vine running up on the fence. So when you start seeing it drying down like this, you know that your yam is actually ready. See? All these dry areas, because this is more than one yam going here. If you look, you could see the vines. So it's more than one. So it's one, two, three. And we had actually dig one the other day, so yes. So let's dig our yam and see what's happening on the ground, yes! So he cuts off piece of it. Oh, 
Look at this. Lovely yellow yam. You know how many how much a pound I pay for this in the stores? Oh my goodness. It's all dirt on it. So we gotta go in and wash all of this off. All of this dirt so you guys can see it. But this looks so dry and nice. Lovely piece of yam. As you can see, my yam is washed and also my papaya. So all that dirt is off the yam. So I'm cutting my papaya up so I could go ahead and make my smoothie. So you see, I slice it. You can see over here, my beautiful papaya. So I'm just gonna peel some of the skin off. Take some of the seeds out. Just cut it up. You know, they said the skin and the fruit, some of the fruits, because it's not all of the skin. It's not all of the fruit that has skin you can eat. But they say that's where all the good nutrients are in the skin. Again, I'm gonna leave a little bit of the seeds in. The seed can be eaten, because I've eaten the seed a couple of times, the seeds, just like that. It's a juicy papaya, man. It's always good to grow your own fruits and vegetables. Because you know, you don't have all of that fertilizer. You know exactly what you have and what you put on your fruits and vegetables. Okay, as you see, I left some, some of the skin. Not a lot, but you know, a couple pieces of skin on and the seed. I'm gonna add a piece of ripe banana. It's about half of ripe banana in it. Add some fruits to the blender. ice from the refrigerator. Gonna put a little bit of more, a little bit more crushed ice. Just a smidge of water. And let's blend. I 
I didn't add any sugar to it. Just got done cooking the piece of yam. Remember I told you I was just gonna do a little piece so you guys could see. And if you wanna see how I peel my yam, I have actually have a previous video that I did. I think it's the, the crayfish soup video. You can check that video out, you'll see how I peel my yam. We actually put the water on to boil. When it comes to a boil, you add some salt to the water if you want to, and then you peel your yam, you put it in and let it cook. When you know how your yam cook, you use the fork to test it. So usually I go in with the fork, and if it goes through easily and comes right back out, I know my yam is ready. Once it goes in and out, you see, you know your yam is ready. Guys, I am so excited. So I did my papaya smoothie. My papaya smoothie is off the chain. I did not add any sugar to it. If you want, you could. I just put half of ripe banana to it and I blend it with some of my crushed ice. And this is what I got right up in here. Mm, very refreshing. If you like, you can add your sugar if you want to, but I didn't need to. Grow your own food, eat your own food. And over here, this is my yam. And just because I want to eat it with something, I have some saltfish going on in here. And a little bit of ackee. This was a tin ackee, so you know it wasn't a lot of ackee. But, you know, when you get it in a tin, it kind of not come out, so, right? It kind of break up in pieces than if you pick it, actually pick it from the tree. But I wanted to eat my yam with something, so I had some ackee and sawfish, so that's what I'm eating my yam with. And this is the yam. Fresh from the backyard, and the papaya fresh from the backyard. My guys, my yam is good. My organic yam, and I have my papaya smoothie to go with it. Guys, whenever you get the chance, no matter how small your backyard is, you can always plant stuff in pots. Guys, it's always great to grow your own food. Eat your own stuff that you grow. But here we are. My food is so good. I'm a smoothie, it's so good. Here are guys. I'm going to my food, I'm going to drink my smoothie, I'm going to catch you in my next video. You never know, I may be out back in the garden, I may be in the salon, or I may be in the kitchen, or you know where else. Who knows? Bye!